Hello, everyone. I'm White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I would like to introduce Oclone, a tool for syncing and managing files across various cloud storage services. Oclone uses the command line to manage and sync cloud storage services such as Google Drive, Amazon S3, and Dropbox. It can meet various needs, including data backup, moving large volumes of data, and syncing data across multiple clouds. Rooklone ensures data privacy by using secure connections. Additionally, by setting up scripts, it is also possible to automate regular backups and synchronization. It is entirely feasible for software and services to utilize the Rclone API to incorporate custom functions and user interfaces. Let's actually try it out. For starters, we will download the Windows version which is used by many users. The Reclone homepage contains descriptions for each storage service. In the video, we'll check using Yandex Disk. So let's take a look at the explanation. Yandex is a Russian company that offers a variety of internet services similar to Google in the United States. The reason I use Yandex is that I had studied abroad in Russia to study quantum mechanics during my student days, and I frequently used this service at that time. Now that the file has been downloaded, I will unzip it. Considering the possibility that extending my stay in Russia could lead to marriage and make it impossible to return to Japan, I ultimately decided to return home. Now that it has been unzipped, I will move the folder to an easily understandable location. The folder will be moved directly under the C drive. I will also keep the folder name simple. I will launch the command prompt and configure the settings. I will move to the folder where the program is located. I will enter the command to configure the storage to be used with our clone. Since I want to set up a new remote storage, I press the N key. I will give a name to the configuration. A lot of storage options were displayed. I will enter the number corresponding to the storage. Since I am setting up Yandex, I enter 53. With Yandex, a client ID and such are not required, so I simply press the Enter key. For some storages, it may be necessary. Since this computer uses Windows and has a browser, the default setting is OK. The browser will launch automatically. Verify the username to be configured and log in. I have logged in through the browser and completed the authentication process. Before using our clone, I will check the contents of the Yandex disk. Now, let's try file operations with our clone. I will exit the our clone configuration wizard. First, I will display a list of directories located at the root of the disk. Indeed, these contents are the same as those in the storage. Next, I will list the files within the specified directory. It was displayed correctly. In this manner, I will also check other commands. I will create a new directory in the storage. I will also check the storage through the browser. Through the command operations of Reclone, I confirmed that a directory has been correctly created in the new remote storage. While executing Reclone's commands, I will keep the browser open to monitor in real time how changes made through command operations are reflected in the browser. I will try creating a directory in the remote storage using commands. There are still things to verify. 
I will explain how to synchronize a specific folder in Windows with a specific directory in the remote storage. Since there were no files in the specific folder on Windows at this time, there was no file transfer. I will provide a brief explanation of this command. Since there were no files, I placed files in a specific folder on Windows for verification. Synchronization is now complete. Next, let's verify with other storage as well. Ruklon is an extremely useful tool for users who seek support for a wider range of cloud storage services, such as AWS and Google Cloud, and more advanced synchronization and management features, even in environments where existing apps for Dropbox or OneDrive are provided, especially in Windows. Considering its use in a CUI environment, we will set it up by SSH connecting to an Ubuntu computer. This time, the computer to be configured does not have a browser. It can be installed normally, but the version in the repository may be outdated. Therefore, we will download and install the latest version from the official website. The method of installation is described in the link in the description section. Please refer to it if you wish. I will check the version of Reclone. Just like before, I will configure a new remote storage. This time, I will use OneDrive as the remote storage. For this item, just like before, press the Enter key directly. Number one is set as global, and it seems to be the correct choice. Since there is no browser, this part is different from before. Enter the rclone command displayed on the computer with a browser. Since it was set up on Windows, this can be used. Move to the location where the rclone program is and paste the display command. When the browser launches, Select the account you wish to use, and log in. Additionally, a token will be displayed in the command prompt. Copy this token, and paste it into your Ubuntu computer. This token is used by our clone to authenticate access to OneDrive. Once the token is correctly entered, the setup is complete, and you will be able to access files and folders on OneDrive using Varpclone. For verification purposes, I will list the folders. I will also check some practical commands. For example, a command to copy the contents of a specific directory on OneDrive. As you can see from the listing, there are several audio files. I will copy these files to this computer. The directory name test does not exist on this computer, but Reclone will create this directory and then proceed to copy files into it. If an existing directory is present, it is possible to copy into it. However, errors can occur due to permission issues. It can be said that adopting this approach, rather than changing the settings of permissions or the user performing the operation to match an existing directory, 
is a more trouble-free method. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.